All right, got 6S, 19 tooth pinion. It's the only thing I had kind of laying around. And then I actually went up eating it up. Went to the hobby shop, picked up a 19 and a 17. But the 30 seconds I ran that 19, I was, I mean, I still felt like I had a lot of torque. So just set her down. We'll see if what I got here. Hopefully I didn't cut out too much of the torque. I'm actually going to walk it up here a little bit. Ooh. Uh, no. Holy hell. Uh, yeah, no problems there. Oh my gosh, she's still got so much torque at a 19 tooth. Hope these tires hold up. Oh my god, right there, still wheeling. Oh my god. This thing has so much torque. I just lost something though right there. Ugh, something went. I think my ping has slipped. Alright, so this is the same meshing that it would have worst case been at when I basically destroyed that last 19. But last this time it just slid off. But still trying to figure out what what happened i mean meshing this thing it's so so tight i mean the 19 basically reaching off the spurs the biggest you're going to be able to put on this with that 4s cover because i can't back it off any more than it is and i back it off and i mesh it if i push it forward anywhere forward other than all the way backed off to where the screw hole is it it's kind of tight like i just ran it with it just in a little bit and I could tell it wasn't right, so I didn't want to kill this spur and pinion, so I hurry up and changed it. And the next setting was all the way back, so this is exactly what killed it, but we're going to try it again. I figured you gotta, gotta figure out what's going on with it. Burr is so loud, man. I don't know if it's just 
Don't like that 19 or what? <laughs> Almost got me. Shoop. Should take it off and check it. That sounds either the first time or second time a complete stripping of that 19 tooth or it slipped off again. Slipped off again, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt because I didn't have any Loctite on me. I wasn't prepared to be switching out a freaking pinion, but either way, we'll see. All right, so this is the new one that just took off. I mean, there's something going on in there. I don't know if it's a meshing issue. I don't think it is. I mean, it only, only hit that one side. But here, here's the thing I noticed. This thing slipped off on me, and everything was fine. It was the first, or the first time on this new one that it messed up on me. And then I realized that the grub was out. And I had Loctite in that one. So I got the new one. And had and it was dried Loctite too. It was Loctite out of an old old grub. So the new one didn't have any Loctite. So of course we didn't have anything. So I took a little piece of the like a uh, white PVC tape, put that on there, and it was fine. It, everything seemed tight. And then this happened. So I'm wondering if slipping off could have caused that. I mean usually if it slips off, but there is a little bit of a wobble if that grub's not in there. I'm sure. So. I don't know. That's the only thing I could think of. But yeah, there was no grub in it when I took it off again. So I mean, it's two 19s done, and I mean, I love the way it drives 19. And actually, like I said, I think it could do 20. But the gearbox, this is not taking it. Like I have to have this all the way rocked at the back position, which apparently is what they want it to be. I mean, there's such a small fraction when I try to rock it forward with that 19. That open is almost the perfect meshing, but something's causing me to to chew it up like that i mean that first one to completely lose all its teeth within a 30 second run i mean from what you know the spur gear still looks good i mean i wouldn't be trying my third pinion right now if i didn't think the spur gear was fine but i can't tell i mean i'm gonna have to get another spur anyway probably by the time this is all done but i got the 17 in now i'm gonna try it with the 17 and see what happens i think it's a little too much torque i actually thought 19 was going to be too late uh too little but all right, so we got a 17 tooth in it right now and see how it runs. I mean, I know it's going to be way more torque, but like I just want stability at this point. I don't know what the hell's going on with these 19s yet, but this even sounds better. I might try an 18 and just call it a day because this doesn't have that high gear sound at all. And it's still torque. Still got my speed, I'm sure. Gears definitely are sounding better right now for whatever reason. See, like, I'm going to try it again. This thing would raise up on full speed. Right when I got near full speed, it would raise up at a wheelie. See if it does it on 17, which it should. It doesn't. This thing, this thing definitely needs... It needs more. Because at a 17, I should have more torque. And I don't. So 18 is going to be a day. We're going to get that and we're going to call it a day. Oh, I don't know. She wants to really. Batteries also. I have been working these batteries too. Oh, she almost wants to raise up. Yeah, 
she's batteries are getting low. Ooh, it's in my bedtime. <laughs> Almost got the birdhouse. Damn, did I just get that? I hope I got that. That was pretty freaking wild. All right, 17 definitely seems to be allowing me to mesh. Maybe the 19 is just too big for that. Uh, I would look into that. 19 just might be too big for me to mesh it properly, and I might have had it mashed too tight, which would definitely chew up the gears like that, I guess. But she's fine now, boy. Like I said, losing a little bit, man. It needs It needs a bigger gear. I'm betting, you, I'm betting you right now this motor's on fire. We will find out here in a minute. Ah, I flipped her. I'll tell you, man, I love... This body will last forever. That's why I'm going to do up a custom one. And these things protect it like no other. I mean, the wing gets chewed up, but Christ. As cheap as that thing is. 